Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 16th, 2019. Well, my goodness, we just have really tenacious bulls. They just don't want to give up anything at all. When we see, uh, I'm going to go to a, a short-term chart here on the on the Dow. When we see any kind of a, an attempt at selling, you can see it right here where we've had a gap down, push down. We get an immediate bullish response back. We get a little bit of selling coming into the market, and we get an immediate response back. Once again, an immediate response back, an immediate response back, an immediate response back. There, it's it's as if there is a plunge protection team really working hard and every time we see some profit taking come in they immediately launch into some really fast heavy program buying moving this market back up they refuse to let it pull back at all now we did consolidate here just a little bit in the market that gives us a bit of a launching pad to be able to move higher and if we take a look at that uh 15 or excuse me moving average chart you can see we've got about 300 points 300 dow points that is for us to reach up here and touch that 50-day moving average and it looks to me like the bulls are just refusing to pull back here at all no matter how stretched this uh rally uh, appears to be they want want to reach that 50-day moving average it's like a big electromagnet drawing prices up there right now so what we're looking at here uh, this morning is kind of an interesting situation we've had obviously we've had uh, several disappointing earnings results but the market is ignoring those and they're focusing on the earnings results that are positive so this morning we had a um, a, a bad miss from BlackRock this morning um, BlackRock missed and notice that the market is actually not doing hardly, I mean, just not reacting to that miss. Um, we get good results this morning out of BAC and we get a massive Re, um, reaction to the upside the same thing with Goldman Sachs Goldman has just been in the dumps for a long long time we get a good positive result out of that and the market is moving up so everything seems to be slanted to the upside there seems to be absolutely nothing right now that the market cares about other than moving up um, Brexit failure doesn't matter um, currency fluctuations doesn't matter the 26 day of a government shutdown doesn't matter we want to go up and there doesn't seem to be anything uh, that they're going to uh, respect or prevent that from occurring so let's keep an eye on this uh, this morning right now we're looking um, this has moved all over the place this morning and also keep in mind we and I'll show you in just a second we have some big economic data coming out that could move us around some more so first we've been almost flat this morning in the last hour we've been almost flat on the futures and now the futures are pointing to a 90 point gap up that's fluctuating tremendously right now so watch that closely but it looks like the bulls are uh, at least maintaining control for now they want to go up and they are going to fight for that so what i would do right now is i would look at this and i would set if we're gonna just relentlessly move let's look up here and let's try and set that that upside target up in here watch that that this little consolidation area gives us that launching pad to be able to see that as as a possible expect um, ex expectation so let's keep an eye on that that's certainly possible um uh to be um handled and you know we know the market can move 300 points in a day could it do it all at once yes it could so kind of keep that in mind but also keep in mind that with the um uh economic data coming out today we could have some disappointments as well and um 
um, a swing back below this level, if we were to fail back below this level, have a black candle show up in here, that would suggest more downside. So hopefully that doesn't occur, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. And one of the other things that I think is helping drive this market higher and making it seem so relentless is my guess is there's still quite a few short hands out there and the market is squeezing those short hands out, forcing that buy to, buy to cover on those trades, uh, continuing to lift that market. Let's take a look at the SPY real quick, SPY. Also in that relentless move higher, we moving moving up, a um, little camping out here and now pushing up toward this downtrend line. We're seeking out that 50 day moving average here. Um, SPY is going, or S&P 500, is going to have about a 20 point move to reach up here to catch that 50 day moving average. And you can see we're, we're looking to open here this morning just slightly higher in um, uh, the SPY, um, about eight points higher at the moment. Um, so uh, certainly uh, working hard to uh, reach that level. So let's kind of keep a close eye on that. Now the Qs yesterday actually made that leap yesterday on um, the news that Netflix uh, was going to raise prices. Uh, that really inspired uh, buyers in Netflix yesterday and uh, Netflix being such a heavyweight and really lifted a whole bunch of other stocks up so um, we saw Facebook rallying and Microsoft rallying and things like that yesterday pushing us up here and we tagged that 50-day moving average here for the Nasdaq so nice move um, so uh, SPY and diamonds may be trying to reach up there to do the exact same thing um, keep in mind we're in a pretty good condition here now on the queues uh, touching that 50-day if we do happen to get a pullback holding support right in here will be really really key um, to pay attention to and then we have resistance above let's go back to that moving average chart we have price resistance above that we will have to kind of keep an eye on um, right in right in through this area um, there's a little congestion in here so anything right up into here we could run into uh, some of that price resistance so watch that close Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, whoops. IWM also holding up yesterday. We've moved up so strongly here in IWM, consolidating and giving us that opportunity to launch even higher. This morning, we're looking at a little bit of a move up here on IWM and a possible tag of that 50 day moving average. So just that relentless push to the upside, trying to catch those 50 day moving averages. We'll have to wait and see what happens after that occurs, but it looks to me like that's where everything wants to go uh, this morning and they are refusing. They're just ignoring anything that's negative and pushing higher right now. So good news for the bulls, not so good for those bears. If you happen to be short, um, you've got some problems on your hands let's take a look at um, the VIX the VIX continues to dance around this little support level here in price continues that little dance around in here and I would guess that if we can maintain this bullish attitude this morning we could see uh, that possibility of this failing down to this level of support. If um, at any time in here we happen to see some sellers come in, if profit takers start um, picking up a little bit at any point in, in here, we could start seeing that bounce. So we'll have to stay um, kind of focused here on the VIX a little bit. But it's really nice to see fear dropping out of the market the way it has been. Let's take a look at T2122. This is my biggest concern right now for, for pullback. You can see how accurate this is. And right now we're just showing just that absolute refusal um, of any selling. Um, we get a shot of selling, we just respond back quickly. Now this morning we're gapping up potentially and we could be gapping up right up in here to this 100 level. Um, remarkable because if you look back here, even through 2017, we never saw that level in the market. So we are really stretched. Um, 
in this rally. And we should expect at any point in time profit taking to come in. So be really careful not to chase this rally um, at this at this late stage. Be careful not to overcommit long because we could be running right into the place where the, that profit taking of the sellers come in. So watch that close. If you're in good long trades um, as as I am, you know, it's it, this is the time when I'm watching for clues to take profits rather than uh, buying a whole bunch of new long positions. So kind of think about that um, as you plan your day ahead and decide how you want to manage um, this this really relentless move here um, by the bulls. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar. If we take a look, we have some big stuff on the economic calendar today. Probably uh, the, the biggest potential mover is retail sales. Will those holiday retail sales come in showing lots and lots of strength? Will they not? I don't know. We'll have to watch that close, but at 8.30 this morning, that comes out, 8.30 Eastern. And then it's followed real quickly by import export prices, business inventories, and the housing market index. And then of course, we have the petroleum status report report that uh, can move the market around substantially and later on this afternoon the beige book and international trade um uh, the capital report and um, then we still have fed speakers coming on so pretty busy economic calendar day um, lots going on and stuff that could really move the market around so kind of stay focused in um, this um, wild morning in the futures may not be finished yet um, we'll have to wait for some of that economic data so with that everyone hey if this is the first time you've seen these videos would you do me a favor would you click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I truly appreciate that. And thank you so much guys for taking the time to do that. As you know, I don't try to make any money from these videos. The purpose of these is to help other folks do a little bit better job with their trading. I've been doing this now. I'm going on 29 years as a trader, going on 14 years uh, trading full time. And I just um, wanted to put something out there that could be very helpful to those in the preparation for the day. So thank you for those who take that moment to uh, to leave a comment or, or click that sub thumbs up button. You guys are the best. I truly appreciate that. And with that, let's take a look at um, some charts that are really starting to look good. Um, Facebook, Facebook moving up here, breaking that downtrend, moving up solidly yesterday and looking really good. I've been talking about Facebook here lately. That looks really, really good. And you can see we're just looking for this move up toward this 200 day moving average. I love this chart. Um, I'm in this chart and want to see that continue to move higher. We're seeing good signs in lots of different places. Um, SCHW Schwab, whoops, um, Schwab is reporting um, earnings sometime today. I don't know if they, it looks like they may have reported already. Schwab, that same kind of appearance, breaking the downtrend. Nice little tight consolidation over to the trend, showing bulls stepping in. And if they did report well here this morning, we might see Schwab making that move higher. There's that rounded bottom breakout pattern again that we like to trade. Really, really good looking chart. Um, something to pay attention to. If you're more of a short-term trader, you might want to take a look at um, FedEx. FedEx on an hourly chart let's go to this chart here FedEx on an hourly chart um, you can see has this big gap above so we've moved up in a nice little trend we've consolidated right in here um, there appears to be not a lot of selling going on in here at all so any kind of a push or break into this gap you've got about a 10 point move up here to fill this gap so those of you that like that little uh, shorter term chart frame that is a really nice looking chart to potentially uh, keep your eye on. Um, other charts out there um, just showing, you know, really great potential charts like um, JD. JD had a kind of a rough uh, day, yes, um, the day before yesterday, but holding on in here, if we take a look um, at JD on that moving average pattern here, there's that rounded bottom breakout, that really strong moving average squeeze showing up right in here 
if that starts to provide support if buyers start picking this up in here um, that looks uh, positive and there's lots of these kind of charts out there very very good looking charts um, Lily Lily just a beautiful move big bullish engulfing candle yesterday bouncing off that 50-day moving average one of those kind of old boring companies uh, but looking strong any follow-through here that this breaks out to brand new highs and could really uh, be a nice trade for folks looking for a little bit of a uh, safer play maybe not quite so volatile so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits keep looking at these charts there's lots of them out there um, lots of potential trades you know trades like um, um, snap if you want a little bit lower price stocks snap beautiful looking chart um, uh, Groupon moving up solidly here maybe reaching the end of its move but been looking good so even some of the smaller companies starting to show some really good signs so if <clears throat> If you're looking for something and get get um, really actively um, searching for those stocks, there's really good patterns to be had right now and really good reasons to be getting excited about the potential of the market ahead. Keep in mind, we could start seeing a pullback or a rest at any time. But everyone have an awesome, awesome day. Be very, very um, focused on price action. Remember, price is king. Most important thing is to focus on price. It doesn't really matter what the news is. What, re what matters is how the market reacts to that news. Stay focused on price. Stay flexible. And no, no one, please, always believe in yourself. Believe in your capabilities. Never give up on your dream of trading. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you all very, very soon. Thank you.